So we are going to uh, demonstrate a flow of control. I'm just making sure everything's clean. Okay, flow of control is when you tell the system to do one thing given a case or do another thing given another case. So in this case, for example, if you're over 21, you can drink and vote and drive. If you're between 18 and 20, you can vote and drive. If you're between 16 and 17, you can drive. If you're younger than that, well, tough luck. That is the, um, the we're going to do a program that you enter your age and it will tell you what you can do. Okay, so we're going to use a scanner for user input. I'm going to call this flow control demo. I have done the previous setup of the uh, skeleton of the program and I have put a prompt and I've scanned the integer that you're going to put in as your age in a variable. You should know all this if you've looked at the uh, previous videos and how to work with scanners. So I have this age. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if parentheses the age is greater than 21 then I'm going to system dot out dot print line um, you can you can drink and vote and drive right if your age is less or equal than 18 and your age is greater, I mean, it's less or equal than 20 and your age is greater or equal than 18 then system.out.println you can vote and drive if your age is less or equal than 17 and your age is greater or equal than 16 right then you will print system out that print line you can drive lastly if your age is uh, less than 16 then we will print system dot out dot print line tough luck right <clears throat> we're gonna test this program so we'll save it compile it and then run it and I have a bunch of errors we'll, we'll debug this it says cannot find symbol print line I haven't spelled something print line print line this is good that you see this because this will happen to you and you'll need to know that when it says system cannot find symbol it's actually referring to either a typo or you're typing a name that doesn't exist in the code okay it can still not find symbol print oh that's it I misplaced the end print okay print line both cases so we run it and it asks me how old are you? And I'll say, well, I'm, six, I'm 65. You can drink and vote and drive. If I run it again, how old are you? I'm 17. Um, 17. Well, you can drive. If I do it again and I say, well, I'm 20. How old are you? I'm 20. Then you can vote and drive. So it will know because it will ask, hey, is your age greater than 21? Then do one thing. Hey, is your age greater between 20 and 18? Then do one thing. The problem here is that if my age is, say, for example, 15, it will go through this command and it will find it false. It will go through this one and find it false. It will go through this one and find it false. It will go through this one and find it true and it will do something. So instead, we can optimize this by having something that it's the else statement. So, uh, for example, else I'll just add else here okay all right you know what I'm sorry I'm gonna get there later 
So what I can do is optimize, for example, this last if. If h is less than is between 17 and 16, right? Then system out print you can drive. Now the only case that remains is that the h is less than 16, right? Because if it's greater than 21, I have a case for that. If the, the, if the age is between 20 and 18, I have a case for that. If it's between 16 and 17, I have a case for that. Then the only option that's left is that is less than 16. So there's really no need to check this one. So I can just do this. So this will read like, if the age is like greater than 21, do something. If the age is less than 20 and greater than 18, do something. If it's between 16 and 17, do something else. Now this if statement has an else. This is read as a block. So if the age is between 17 and 16, print out you can't drive. Otherwise, just say tough luck. What we do here is that we're not we're avoiding one comparison, which is good. Okay, avoiding comparisons is good. So we can compile this and run it. And then the case is, say for example, I'm 14. Well, tough luck. It compared to 21, it didn't work. Compared to between 18 and 20, it didn't work. Compared to 17 and 16, it didn't work. Therefore, it went with the other case. Now, what you can do is take this to a place where you only do one uh, when you only do the comparisons you need. So you do, you do else if and else if. And now, in this case, this whole thing is read as a block. Okay, this is an if with multiple else's. And this this else, for example, has an if and then an else if, right? So these these are nesting the else's. But what would you would do is read this as an if with multiple else's. So we'll ch check to see if the h is greater than 21. If it is, then we print line system, you can drink and vote and drive, and that's the end of it. Before, we were still doing all of the comparisons, but because now we have an else, the first condition that applies, that's what it's going to do, and then it's going to stop comparing. Okay? So we'll just compile it and run it, and it'll say, How old are you? And then I'll say, I'm. I'm uh, 19 for example. So then it would say you can vote and drive. What it did was when it looked at 19 it said hey is it greater than 21? No. Okay let's go to the else. Is it between 18 and 20? Yes. So then it printed you can vote and drive and that was the end of it. It did not compare it did not go through the other if. Which one suits you? That's up to you to decide. Another quick way to uh, optimize this, for example, is to create a, va a variable called response here. It's going to be a string response, and it'll say you can, and that's it. And then we're going to start concatenating a string into it. So if h equals 21, okay, we'll say we'll say uh, will say response equals response plus in this case is drive drink drive and vote right that's for example something that we want to do and then here we can say response equals, and I'll use this, plus equals, that, that's the same as response equals response plus, okay? Uh, and then response equals uh, drive and vote. And this here would be response plus equals uh, drive and vote, just vote. And then this one here will be response equals uh, tough luck. In this case, I don't add this to response. Okay, I don't concatenate this. This is what's going to be the response. And then I have one system that out that print line statement that just prints the response. Okay, let's compile this guy and run it. How old are you? I don't know, 34. You can drink, drive, and vote. And then it says, can drink, that's because we do not have a space in here. We can add it. Okay? This is how the if works. If you have more than if you if the H is 21 and you do more than one thing, say for example, say, wow, 21, you can drink and drive and vote. 
if you want to say two things, if you want to do two things in there, two processes, okay? You will enclose that if statement in curly braces, and then you'll do whatever it is that you're doing too. System out dot print line. Wow, right? And then <clears throat> if you're between the ages of 20 and 18, you might want to say. You might want to say, I don't know. The first thing might be system dot out dot print line. Oh, <clears throat> and then lastly, if you're between se seventeen and sixteen, you can say system dot out dot print line. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, you are now a citizen, right? That you can vote and stuff like that. And then we we'll just indent this correctly. It's, that's very important. Oh, you know what? I'm indenting all this. Right. Indentation is very important, so I do pay attention to that. Else. My response is going to be tough luck, and I'm going to print um, uh, system dot out dot print line. You are just a kid. Okay, so then I will compile it and run it. How old are you? Let's say I'm uh, 18. Oh, you can drive and vote. So it did. It executed both statements there. So that's it for you. That's the basic control flow. Check for the next control flow video as well, because there's other other ways to do this.